Hey what is up guys and welcome back to Predatory Exotics. I know it has been a long time since our last video. Um, we did have a short break and then it turned into a long break. Um, we're going to come back today, back into it um, with another video. We will do some more videos um, in maybe a couple weeks time explaining our plans for the whole of 2022. Um, we've got lots of projects coming up this year. A um, lot of things we want to achieve in our reptile as well as our whole um, journey that we are doing. Um, but for now, we're going to jump into a video which is feeding our snakes. Um, but this one is going to be a little bit different. We are going to add chicks and hamsters to the already mice we usually feed. Um, this is good for two reasons. Um, one, it's more enriching for your animal um, because there's going to be lots of more different scents. Um, it's going to be a different sensation. They're going to have to um, not just find the head on the same mouse they find, especially if you're feeding a chick. It's a completely different way of eating it. Um, and obviously the enrichment sides. I don't know if they're gonna strike it straight away, they're gonna smell it for a while. Um, and then the hamster, I'm gonna, it's probably pretty much the same as a mouse. Um, and we're gonna feed that to the king snake as well, who is a voracious, um, has a voracious appetite. So I will, I have no doubt that he'll eat that one. Um, so let's get into it, let's feed all the snakes. Um, a few of them are on hunger strikes, we're in the winter, so um, stuff like the hog nose um, probably isn't gonna eat. Um, and then some of the males already aren't eating, so I don't know if they're gearing up for breeding season. Um, but I'm waffling on too much because I haven't been recording for a while, so I don't know what to say. Um, so let's get into feeding the snakes. So guys, we are about to feed this hamster to the king snake. Um, doesn't look that different to a mouse. Obviously, it's got a tiny tail, so I've got to try and pinch its tail. Um, but don't know if the king snake is going to eat it as quick as it does a mice. Um, literally... At this point, the king snake will probably be flying at the glass, ready to eat a mouse. Um, but he is in his cave currently. So I'm going to move this into the um, position it needs to be, because we're a bit far away from the tank at the moment, uh, and see if he will take it super quickly, or he will take it not at all, or slowly. So... He's in this cave here. Oh, he's tasting. Oh, he's wondering what it is. It must smell different to a mouse. Doesn't seem that interested. Right, so we're going rogue because clearly this hamster stinks and nothing wants to eat it. Uh, tried it with a couple of the sambos, doesn't eat it. King snake doesn't eat it. Um, so colubrids usually are the non-fussy ones. So we're gonna try it on a corn snake. So this one has already been fed, but it's looking greedy. So we're gonna see if what it makes of this stinky hamster. Oh, damn. That was great. Clearly the corn snake doesn't care. Um, but obviously this is the top tank, so I can't really hold it up here. Um, but I was going to plan on doing like a little time lapse for you. Um, but we're going to see if it spits it out because I'm not doing anything yet. A 
looks like it's eating it. So you can see that classic chomping side to side to get him to wiggle down the body. Um, but while we're watching this corn snake eat the hamster, I'll just talk you through um, the reason why we're trying to feed these different items. Um, so obviously the different prey items are going to have different nutritional content. Um, a mice um, has certain different things. They're quite high in fat and the hamster is obviously going to be very similar, uh, but it's just something different. Um, I was hoping they would be more intrigued by it, more inquisitive. Um, the corn snake took it straight away without barely even smelling it. Um, but the king snake and stuff, at least they got to smell something different, even if they um, decided not to eventually eat it. Um, at least they got to sort of try some different prey items. Um, and this one seems to be munching it. You can see the hamster's bum there. Um, and then the other reason as well as, so you've got the nutritional content and you've got the enrichment side of it. Um, so we're going to feed the chick in a minute, which has got less fat compared to the rodents like this hamster. Um, so we're going to try that, but I'm just going to let you finish watching. Um, I'll put some music on and you can watch the corn snake who doesn't have a name yet, by the way. No. Nope. Um, so I'm going to have to get a name for this corn snake, but I'm going to let him finish eating this meal. So we are moving on, um, we are now down to the Tartar Samba, our big female, and we are going to try feeding this chick. Um, I don't know how old this chick is, um, and I'm not sure if the Tartar Samba is going to eat it. Um, but one thing to mention, with all these snakes, I haven't fed them in about a week and a half. Usually I go about a week, so I've left it a bit longer than I usually do, um, just to see, sort of up their appetite. Um, and see if they'll eat it. Um, so I'm gonna try this chick with the tartar sambo. We've got a nice little death roll grip there on the chick. Um, so hopefully she'll eat it. Obviously this is going to be a very different meal than she is used to. Um, simply because it's very different shape. Um, you've obviously got the larger head and then a, quite a skinny neck and then a larger body and it goes down to the feet. Um, but she is a typical Samba so she's literally going to um, bite, bite her prey like this and then she's going to sit there for a while until she decides that she is going to eat it. Um, but she's got it right on the head, which is a good start. Um, but she's going to have to work out how to try and get that beak down first um, and then go down the body. So I'm going to leave it like this um, and then I'll just put a time lapse over and watch um, as she eats it. Um, but just one thing to note, obviously this is a very different prey item um, in terms of nutritional content. Um, she did seem a little bit curious. Usually she strikes straight away. Um, she's a very hungry girl usually. Um, but this time she did hesitate for a second and then she obviously struck out of nowhere and took the chick. So I'll leave you to it, I'll put some music on um, and you can watch a little time lapse of her chowing down on this chicken.
So next up we have the smallest snake in our collection. Um, that is this small little sandbar. Uh, it's an albino Kenyan sandbar. Um, and he is a little bit fussy. That's why we have to put him in this pot. Um, and then he eats in here because he does like to drop it. Um, let's see if he's interested. He didn't eat last week. Um, So he doesn't seem that interested, but we will put the lid on um, and we'll get on to feeding the other snakes. Um, this one is a little bit fussy and does like to be in the pot when he eats. Um, so we'll leave him, do all the others, and then it does usually take a couple of times. Um, and if not, he is a little bit on the chunky side. So not to worry if he doesn't eat this week. So we're back to the Kenyan Samba who got offered the hamster but didn't like it. Now we're going to find out if he is actually hungry or if it was the hamster that put him off. Um, so this is just a hopper mouse. Um, and usually he is very hungry, so. So we're going to have to leave that mouse there. Um, for some reason, all the male snakes just don't want to eat at the moment. Um, so we'll put him back in and see if he eats it. And if not, no worries, because he's been eating consistently um, since we got him. It's probably the first time he's not even eaten. So next up is the Cape African house snake, the albino. Uh, I think it's hiding right in this corner. Uh, oh, this one's interested. See how far we can oh try to lure it down but he has got it um and he looks like he's gonna drag that fuzzy mouse into the back corner um this one is always eating typical colubrid um and house snakes are known for the fact that they will just eat and eat and eat but we'll give him that one fuzzy um so he's already trying to eat it from the neck not even going from the head like he should be doing uh, but he's dragging that behind there so we can't see um, so we'll move on to the next one and then eat that one in peace. So we are back at the king snake enclosure now. Um, he didn't want the hamster. Um, so we'll see if he's put off at all of eating tonight. He might be completely put off. Um, but we'll try him on this rather large hopper mouse.
Looks like we have put him off eating tonight. Uh, he's just hiding behind this cork bark. Um, and he seems completely put off wanting to eat a mice uh, or mouse. Um, usually, as soon as you start feeding other snakes, he comes to the front and he wants to eat it. Um, so I'm probably just going to leave this in the middle of his enclosure and he'll probably eat it. He's, we've probably just been winding him up too much trying to get that hamster down him. So we'll leave him for now um, and we'll let you know if he eats that one. So next up we have a Rufus, the Rufuskin's sand boa. Um, we're trying him on a little bit larger of a meal than he would usually have. He is on fuzzies and this is a fuzzy but it's a particularly large one. Um, so we'll see if he is eating. Um, oh, a bit of a curious head movement there. Maybe he will eat it. Oh, he's bitten the wrong bit though. Um, so we'll leave this up, um, see if he can find the head um, and hopefully he munches it without a problem.
So lastly, we are moving on to our adult female Kenyan Samboa. She sits like this 90% of the time uh, in that classic Samboa position with basically just her eyes and her nose and mouth sitting out above the surface. Uh, and she is one of my fastest striking, uh, but she will drag it straight back under the sawdust um, and she does take a while to eat it. So we probably won't get a time lapse with her unfortunately but hopefully we do get a decent strike. And yeah, like I said, uh, unfortunately we won't get to see her eat. Um, she'll drag it under and she doesn't really like to eat on top of the substrate. Um, but that is it, the last one. Um, so I'll give you a recap, recap in the outro um, and we'll leave this girl to finish her big meal. So that is all the feedings done. Um, thought I'd give you a little recap because it is the next day. The king snake ate her mouse um, a couple hours later after we put it in there. She was obviously just a little bit agitated from all the fuss with the hamster. Um, the smallest sambo didn't eat, one of my male sambos didn't eat and the hognose didn't eat but he has been on hunger strike for quite a while. But it's all written down in my logbook that I keep of all the different feedings. Um, so I know how long each one hasn't been feeding for. Um, and I get a bigger picture of if their health is good. Because um, if they miss out on one week, it really isn't a big deal. Um, you can go weeks without feeding your snakes um, if they do happen to go on hunger strike. Um, but I would say the chicks were definitely a great success um, with the largest sambar. Definitely going to continue feeding them, but pair that with mice as well. So maybe one week chicks, one week mice and stuff like that. Um, but that was definitely a great success. The hamster, less so, um, especially considering the hamster is about £1.40 um, and a bag of 10 chicks is about the same price. <clears throat> so definitely um, might definitely go with the chicks because um, a hamster, even a hamster is double the price of a mouse. Um, so you really don't want to be spending all that much money on hamsters, especially if it's going to be an item that might not necessarily fit all snakes. But I hope you have enjoyed feeding all these snakes with me. Um, let me know down below if you want to see any other sort of stuff get fed off. Um, maybe try a quail because um, we're quite limited with the chicks to sort of feed it to a bigger snake. But something like a baby quail could feed to some of the smaller snakes. Um, so definitely keep that in mind. Um, but I hope you have enjoyed. Um, please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Um, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.